Crime of human trafficking has been around for thousands of years and it persists to this day. In the last five years alone, in Pennsylvania, roughly 800 human trafficking offenses were filed. 2822, Eyewitness News reporter Mark Heller joins us now live in the studio to explain. Mark? Candace and Nick, those troubling numbers in the Commonwealth happened despite Pennsylvania's first comprehensive human trafficking law, which took effect also five years ago. Today, a local organization known for treating child abuse and neglect held an event to raise awareness of human trafficking. A staff member at Children's Advocacy Center of Northeastern Pennsylvania might be all out of colorful sand, but the nonprofit she's with is all in to spread awareness of human trafficking. It is notoriously underreported, so it's so important to raise awareness for um, the cause to end human trafficking. The organization took part in what's called the Red Sand Project outside their Mulberry Street location. The red sand these women are using to fill sidewalk cracks symbolize children and others who slip through society's cracks and end up victims of human trafficking. We definitely have numbers that are seen um, here at the CAC, so that's a mission that is really near and dear to our heart. According to the Administrative Office of Pennsylvania Courts, 14% of human trafficking cases statewide involve children younger than 18. Locally, Monroe County ranks in the top 10 for number of human trafficking offenses for victims of all ages. Some of those victims are groomed by people they trust or even by strangers on social media. Young kids having access, unsupervised access to social media can definitely create a space that is unsafe where people have access to kids. Children's Advocacy Center held its first Red Sand project last year, but with staff only. This year, they thought it was important to open it up to the community. Kathleen Kovac stopped by to help fill in the cracks with grains of red sand to participate in a symbolic fight to end trafficking. It's crucial that people realize how severe a situation it is because it really is an endangerment to children. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children reports roughly one in six cases is likely a victim of human trafficking. Today's event comes on the eve of the United Nations World Day Against Trafficking in Persons. Head to pahomepage.com to learn more about trafficking and how to report suspected cases.